Ah, boom, there we go, there we are. Well, there's one way to fix that. Minor technical difficulties. <laughs> like in the chat, the game has a built-in Chewbacca bird. It really does. It really does. The legendary Chewbacca bird of Dude I Call It You Bro. That's very fitting. Very fitting. Alright, so I'm going to get us going. I'm just going to see. I don't want to upgrade anything just yet. But I am going to go to Mission Control. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I'm going to do a few things. Number one, we're just going to test anything easy, which I don't think we have anything left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, that's super high altitude. Super low speed, that's annoying. So nothing readily available. So now, second thing we're going to check our archives. So we're gonna check on Kerbin. Launch pad, we've done a bunch. Runway, we've done a bunch. Oh, we did do the material study, okay. Water, grassland, shores, we didn't do much. I'm gonna look for some easy Easy science. And I might just um, try something kind of kind of cheaty. I'm going to go and we're going to go to our space plane hangar. We're going to do our legendary failure. Alright, so we're going to use the same one we did last night. I'm going to save it this time. gonna name it the doesn't kill Jeb because uh, that's its significant quality that's the major thing about it and we learned this antenna didn't really work so let's do inland line antenna maybe right down the middle should do fine we need some sciency things Simple sciences. And we're gonna make sure Jeb is our crewman. He is, because he's our only pilot. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna test for the first time uh, the desert airfield. Let me give it a shot. It's getting started right away. Oh, this is. This seems like it's a fairly flat runway for an unupgraded runway. This might be my preferred runway now. Report. 
Oh, this is a separate biome as it is. Okay. Well, taking off wasn't necessary. So I probably shouldn't have done that. But that's okay. I'm sure the desert has better... Some crew reports. We got some temperature scans. Hmm. It's odd. I think what's happened is I might have filled my current science meter. Only 81.5. So how did I already have the barometric reading for this area? Hmm. Strange. I did that instead of the crew report, and I thought I did crew report. Not enough electric charge. Build up our electric charge again. trying to help me out with the uh, pressure scans it does um, it does end up being different biomes but I, I just realized I thought I took a crew report but I actually took a pressure scan the first time so 75% throttle so I'm gonna be coming back around already for for the runway It's got us a decent amount of science already. We're almost to that uh, 90 marker I wanted for electrics. And once again, I'm flying at night because how else would I do things? Runways off that away. Let's see if we can get it back in our field of view. Okay. Sometimes the controls are just a little too responsive. Want to do first person landing? No. No, I don't. Not with Jeb on the line. It's pretty good and lined up right there. Just the nose up a little bit. Lead off some speed. Nose down to get lower altitude. 
small speed again. Back down. Oh, we are way off the runway now. Okay. Let's go. We're just kind of bleeding speed while we do this. We're going to hit the lights over there. That's going to suck. Mission success. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to get that leftover science. <laughs> from, the, from the chat, he lives. This is still parts exploding. Uh, well, it worked. <laughs> so, apparently parachute landing's the way to go for that jet. Mission summary for it doesn't kill Jeff. That's... So, uh, it's because I called it. It's because I called it that that happened. No XP gain. How does that not give you any XP gain? In the chat, yes, it lived up to its name. It certainly did. I'm gonna recover the debris. <laughs> That's marvelous. That's just marvelous. So now... Now... We get this guy. Nope. That would make me angry. Electrics. Probodobodyne Octo. So, the thing that I was missing yesterday, the thing I didn't know, um, while in creative, or not creative, uh, what would you call it? Sandbox mode. The, the, uh, Stay put, Nick. Actually, has SAS control, where it just completely doesn't in um, career mode. Or maybe it eventually gets upgraded that way. I'm not sure. But um, the Octa, or Octo, um, actually should have SAS control. Yep, remote pilot assist available. Look at that. Action wheels built in, SAS stability assist, where this guy does not. That is that is the main problem we had yesterday. So now we can fly rockets without just going completely off the rails. So I'm gonna start to work towards um, a contract we had. Oh, that's kind of cool. I realize we had all that kind of fancy stuff. Actually, make this look proper. If I wanted to, kind of don't care to. So we're just gonna make a satellite bus. So something just to power this sucker. I'm gonna go for the uh, the contract for escape velocity. Now, see, this is gonna get in the way of it, isn't it? What does that look when it's extended? Let's see if that gets in the way. like I'm just like uh, 
interrupting my own stream here with myself. Um, <laughs> nice. James is driving 100 miles an hour on the Howard Franklin to catch this, this stream. I hope he's not driving that fast, but um, I definitely hope he's that interested. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to change this out. I'm going to probably regret um, doing it this way because I do have a limited part count still for the vehicle assembly building. I only get 30 parts. Okay, so here's our little crappy satellite bus. I do get a little solar panel. I'm trying to think of how... I'm trying to think of how... Oh yes, we definitely have a dedicated fan base. Hmm. These are much cheaper for the electric charge we get, but this carries a lot more for less parts. Urgh, I'm going to think about that for a second. Now we figure out how we're going to do the rest of the rocket. So, I do need to test this decoupler. You can see it's uh, blue. I'm pointing at the screen like you're going to see it. Because it's blue, uh, that is to indicate that uh, that is for a contract. And I need it Here's what I'm gonna do. I need it to be deployed um, at high altitude. Let me actually reread the contract just to make sure that's the, the case. Yeah, test, test the decoupler on an escape trajectory. So I have to already be on an escape trajectory and then test it. So yeah, that's. I'm gonna test that. I'm gonna take the aerodynamic cone off with it. Okay, so that makes things a little easier. In terms of item placement, I'm going to just take a pair of solar panels, tilt them in so I can point this basically at the sun. Well, that's not really angled enough for that, is it? I'm going to put these. Mm. The thing is, I got to keep them safe during the launch. Okay, I got an idea. I'll, I'll, I'll share in a second. Decided I'm comfortable with this because the two ways I can go. Yes, does mean there will be debris forever. Unfortunately, with this with this launch, or maybe not. Actually, the mission plan that I have might just bring this back. Got a crazy idea for it. It's gonna follow my theme of the day of testing out the other launch sites. What am I doing on parts? I still got decent amount of parts. Now here's where things are going to get tricky. I'm going to have to change that out. I'm going to need this to be a larger... Is that going to be too big maybe? I could just be using the Delta V calculator and knowing this in advance, but I just don't feel like it today. Air batteries. Put the engine on that, so we got a larger, larger fuel tank for that. Now I need the largest fuel tanks I've got. A pair of those. for Reliant. That'll, that'll actually have some kind of reaction wheel. And SAS, thank god. Um, I am going to need communications. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and get this out into independent solar orbit and use it as a communications relay. I'm going to try and just set it up so its escape velocity from Kerbin is putting it in a... Uh, what am I looking for? An inclination change for its overall solar orbit. 
rather than an acceleration or deceleration. So how many parts do I still have? I've got four parts that I can put on. Okay, that's not good. It's made a little short for what I wanted to do. Well, let's uh, put some big MFs right here. That's interesting. It wants those upside down for some reason. Solution time. I'm a little worried with these being kind of wobbly. And I really wanted to put some aerodynamic cones. On. Oh, I'm, my math is stupid. <laughs> that was 16, not 26. Alright, so I do have lots of parts. I'm just dumb. Just dumb, apparently. Alright. So... We could do just a little more craziness, then. Craziness is what we like on this channel. So, basic fans. Maybe larger fins. Yeah, there we go. Some big old fins. I feel like this should be enough for an escape. But now, we've got room for some extra science. If I'm doing that, I'm going to need more batteries, too. So I'll just go for some small science modules here. So one thermometer, one press bat, those are at least reusable. Alright, and I can get two more batteries in here. So I'm gonna put These are not set up to be. Huh. Okay, there's my 30 part count. So I've got batteries, I've got science, I've got solar panels, I've got communications, I've got the test part. And I'm going to try and launch this from Woomerang. Oh, yes. From. <laughs> Staging. I did not check my staging. This was a theme of last night as well. We'll check that real quick. So from Woomerang, what we're going to do is we're going to start much higher up from the equator. We're in a very northern position. Oh, there's the SAS. I love SAS. All right, so those separate that. Well, that's actually kind of dead on. And then that and that. Yeah, all I need to do is combine them. Not bad. So, uh, what you'll note is that we're very high up. So when we go straight up, we're going to go almost like um, into a, a solar inclination change as it is, if you zoom way out, right? And that's going to be the goal. I want to go for a solar inclination change. So we will eventually come back to Kerbin. Theoretically. This is all in theory. So uh, we're just going to do a quick zoom way out here, because we can. So which way? Oh, see, I'm all disoriented. I want to know which way the, uh, the poles are. Okay. So I'm facing that way. So I need to go. Oh, I'm just an idiot. It's right here on the ball, north. Need to go that way. 
that away. Alright, let's just give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Yeah, those are wobbly. Those boosters are kind of wobbly. So the whole way out of the atmosphere, we're just going to go straight up. And then hopefully not smash into our own boosters when they separate. Okay. Yeah. That's not good. That was a change in aerodynamic resistance. Um, there's no way to recover this at all. <laughs> well, well, shit. just gonna explode. So what we need to do... Hey, the engine! Oh. Well, it looked promising. Now we're gonna go back to vehicle assembly. Unfortunately, that was not a revert, so we still just paid the money for it. Um, because I disabled revert. So, how do we go around this? We change our thrust limiters. So we're not just beating the crap out of our aerodynamics. Move those as far to the bottom as possible. So we want some aerodynamic drag from that. This might be kind of screwing us up, too. But... Hey, the engine! Kaboom. Yeah. That's one for the highlight reel. <laughs> the engine mate! No. Oh. Just launched that from the wrong... facility. Why did it default back to there? I'll recover it. Try it from Woomerang again. The other benefit is, if things go completely haywire, and, uh, detonate on the pad, then, uh, we won't be losing our good launch pad. A good equatorial launch pad. Since this one isn't going for the, uh, equatorial orbit, there's no sense in wasting it. Loading. There we go. So. Okay, fifty might have been a little over dramatic. Kind of just um, doing a little little gangster lean. There's no way to shut these off at all, which is highly unfortunate. And despite this thing having reaction wheels, it's not seemed to be wanting to let me uh, do much of anything. Is there a situation where these need to be... Am I out of contact with it or something? Com signal 94%. Hmm. Oh, it's insisting that I can aim this, though I have zero control. Oh, I can turn things on and off. Oh, there's a piece of something. Hmm. We need to be creative here. So we're going to take this engine off. Put 
a swivel on. Go for just one high gain antenna. And one inline communitron. Oops. Okay. One more time for this doomed style. We're gonna launch with that. Okay. This way we have some steering authority with gimbal. Maybe the gimbal's what we need. At least we have SAS. Supposedly this has its own built in reaction wheel. But. Hope the gimbal does the trick for us. We're rooting for gimbal. I think this ring is really what's throwing us off. We're getting tons of aerodynamic resistance right here. And that's making us tip over the center of gravity of the rocket. Yeah, see, it's gonna do it even with the gimbal. Okay, but we're staying more or less on course. Oh, never mind. Okay. Okay. No, this is good. This is. Oh no no no. <laughs> this is fine. It's totally fine. This is not gonna make it to escape velocity. That's for sure. Okay. 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 We're getting thinner atmosphere now. We can actually. Have the authority we need to change this. Okay. Alright. I am mashing keys like a psychopath right now. This is just not working for us. Alright. Should have used smaller boosters. Oh, that's the other thing, I guess. Smaller boosters would have moved the um, center of aerodynamic resistance downward. Okay, so now. Ditch those. Cool. Grab that. Also cool. What's our apps? Probably like negative. Well, Welp. Let's try. Let's see what we can get out of this. I could have tried this with the shorter boosters, full throttle. That probably would have been the reasonable human being thing to do. Wow. He's driving a crazy apple apps. I don't think it's going to take us to uh, escape. But, uh, that's pretty high up. We'll do some, uh, some far away sciencing maybe well that needs to be recovered I don't think that's gonna happen and that also needs to be recovered so I don't think that's gonna happen okay well well at least this one had a little more fun before it uh, was doomed
Let's watch it burn up on re-entry. Yeah, see, this is providing aerodynamic resistance. I knew it. That's a really cool little effect there. Just a cone of fire. <laughs> Nothing just got damaged from that re-entry. Are you kidding me? If this was an actual ship, this would have blown up. But because it's already doomed, it's just going to fall all the way down the carbon. Let's see, if it's heading for the water, which is what it looks like it's doing. Do we have enough authority to rock it back and forth? Bleed speed. It's actually working. Yes. 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 That's right. Uh-huh. Just bleed all that speed off present a larger surface <laughs> it is a it is a weak reaction wheel I'm I'm definitely sure of that off as much speed as possible. Oh yeah, I lost the high gain antenna there in the re-entry. Guess that's that's not a surprise. Yes! Science! <laughs> Science was had. Is that a Oh my god, there's a piece still like way underwater. Recover it. We... <laughs> last second we broadcast the science and we recover it apart. Really not sure how that just happened. High gain antenna splashed down hard and was destroyed. We're wasting money good today. All right. Holy shit, yeah, we were really wasting money. Okie doke. We're gonna just try the smaller boosters one time. Just once. Could just leave these off. But here's what I'm gonna do. Do we wanna make it top heavy and do that? Or I could just get rid of the fuel in it. Seems logical. Seems like an abomination, actually. are full of thrust again. <laughs> yes, it does look fairly phallic. Oh, too many parts. Parts uh, unable to launch. Oh, that's right, because I did... Um, see what I did? I see what I did. So, what we'll do is we'll change this to a times three. Now we can launch it. Okay. Last shot for this before I give up and wait 
till we have uh, wider rockets to do this escape velocity with the uh, with the part. We're wasting a lot of money on this one contract. Now the center of aerodynamic resistance is much lower, thanks to the lower place boosters and the extra aerodynamics there. There, straight up with the boosters. Oops. Straight up with the liquid. <laughs> now we're talking. Wow, something I actually knew and failed to apply uh, ended up being useful when I applied it. Imagine that. I almost kind of wish I put fuel in there now and tempted fate. Getting a little bit of heating. It's a good sign when we're going for escape. already pretty high. We're on to the efficient engine, we're into space, so we'll go ahead and extend the antenna. So I make sure I've got range here. Now we're talking! It's getting really close. Come on, escape. Did it do it? Did it do it? Yes! Come on, escape trajectory. Now we're talking. So now... Boom, contract completed. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, and this um, then will serve as our um, possible, possible uh, satellite to bounce communications off of. Maybe, I don't know how the communication range is gonna be on that, but um, High over Kerbin. No, nope. we're about to get into, uh, into interplanetary space here. We're gonna wait for interplanetary space. I call the debris that's just kind of chasing us right now. There's some kind of debris splashed down over there. Is that from the last craft? That might be from the last one. Yes, uh, once it's escaped, there will be uh, more science. Just gotta hope it... Uh hope it keeps its electric charge long enough. So one solar panel is pointed at the sun. Maybe point it just a little better. It's hard to tell where up is on this thing. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we should have plenty of 
solar energy coming from that. When does it start counting us as being an interplanetary space, I wonder? Might go back trying to launch something else and come back to this, maybe. How long it's going to take it to consider itself exited? Yeah, okay, we'll let this do its thing. Go to the um, Space Center. We'll come back to it. Pretty cool. I'm glad that one's finally out of the way. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh -huh. Mission Control. Any new stuff? <laughs> Not really. Okay, so here's here's some good ones though. We can use a jet for these. This is uh, below sixteen six hundred meters, so it's as long as I'm below that point, I'm good. This is another one that's below. That one's above. We don't want above. Take pressure readings in flight below. Near Bill's defeat. Okay, yeah. So... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just going to check one thing. We're going to see if I can... Nope. After those launches, I still can't get a new pilot. Engineers and scientists, no pilots. I wonder what that's all about. Let's, see. let's uh, check. Oh, let's see. Find some new tactics here. So fundraising, we can take reputation, turn it into funds. We can turn reputation into science. Turn funds into science. We just got a small funds increase. At the cost of two science, two and a half science. It's not a lot of science, it's... I might consider that. Get reputation for funds. Bailout grant, no. Aggressive negotiations. 1.5% funds off of launch costs and R&D purchases. Ooh, ooh, that's brutal. There's a lot of reputation on each discount. Retransponder fitting. Nope, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it on any of these. So, we're going to skip that. And we're going to have to put Jeb in the line of fire again. We're just going to keep pushing our luck with that jet. So, let me see. Below, eight, okay. Maybe that's a below, I'm happy with it. Flight below. Flight above, I don't want that one. And flight below. Wow, they put the AJ-10 in. That's cool. That's a, that's a famous engine, to be sure. The AJ-10. Long history with that one. 
Real life, that is. So we'll do the uh, the doesn't kill Jeb again. Put the new antenna on. This time, a press bat barometer. from the runway because I think that's near where all the objectives are. Yeah, so basically if we circle around the island airfield, that should be what we need to do. Jeb's in the air. Once again. Oh, there's a navigation thing. Oh, that's cool. I wish I realized that yesterday. All right, this isn't so bad. I'm just gonna all have to listen to the sounds of a jet and suffer right along with me. Looking good, Jeb. Looking good. Very sensitive on the controls. I appreciate that. actually hope to get some control when I need it. This isn't bad. I don't want to dare time warp this. Take pressure reading. Okay. Get any science from it? Oh, I should have put a battery on this. So it's getting a little bit next target. Could be really brave and try for the island airfield when I decide to land. Oh, keep your nose up. Keep your nose up.
are entering zone 33430. Crew report. Bingo. Objective 2 complete. Now we're going to go to objective 3. Which should be our last one since this one is in above. I don't think we can get to that altitude. These are really fun objectives now. <laughs> now that I'm actually capable of flying a decent jet. This isn't so bad. Just think, when we're done this, we can go back to the probe and uh, check what science we got from that. Accelerate just a little bit here. Yep. Nose up. Yeah, I think this is pretty much this jet's altitude ceiling. speed towards science. lights off that actually helps doesn't seem to oh no I guess maybe Contract done. That's three contracts with one flight. Heading for home.
Very nice. What's those contracts they even get us? I'm not even sure. Oh wow, <laughs> it started ringing in already. Some good funds from that. See how well this glides for a minute. So I'm basically giving up on runway landings with this jet after the last one. Runway landing, that's so pedestrian. Or, you know, normal. Normal, not, not insane. So I'm going to let us get really low, then I'm going to pull up, then I'm going to parachute. all that speed off. Stall out. <laughs> Such a cheaty way to handle this. Yes, Jeb is the herpes of my fleet of pilots. The only pilot that just won't die. Could have gotten a little closer in. But, uh, you know, this is pretty darn close. The only thing is, it do this does drop fairly fast. It does drop faster than, say, like a capsule would be safe dropping at. But uh, these will spring damper. So basically, these will land on springs. Ooh. Flatten out a little bit. The key to this, if you choose to do this on your own, so make sure your parachutes are at your center of gravity, or else your plane will just tip one way or the other and ex explode when it impacts. <laughs> just lands on the springs, and we're good. Recover. Finally get the jet noise out of my ear. That was brutal. All right, and we did get some science. Not a ton, um, but wow, we got 10,000 of the recovered funds back, and we already had a bunch of funds from the contracts. Very, very nice. I'm happy about this. That's, a, that's some good money right there. All right, let's, uh, let's go to the tracking station, see how our um, probe is doing. It's still nowhere close to exit. Look at it. Now, the cool thing is... You see these green lines? These green lines are the tracking stations. Uh, they are all able to reach the communication on this little guy. Oh, I could terminate these. Does that mean that these would actually clean up the space junk? Because that's kind of lame. Oh, here we go. This is landed. This is splashed down. I'm gonna recover that. Some some parts recovery. Oh yeah, this 
stuff over here too. Okay, cover that. But yeah, I'm not gonna bother to cancel this out. I feel like that's cheaty. And I should like rename this thing, I think. Oh, yeah, I think it's actually... No, nope, still doesn't count. Oh, yeah, it just went to thousands. Look at that. So far away. What's the comm range on this? Antenna rating. Combinable. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder how what the actual range is on these comms. Is there a way for me to check that? Oh, I wonder. These above. It doesn't say above by how many meters. It doesn't say like a range. I wonder if I can put my orbit over that and get it. I bet I could orbit and get those. That might be the way to get those contracts. So the below, I might be able to just do with jets, and then the above, do with orbit. Clean out all those contracts. That, mm, that might be the way to do that. I do want to see this probe um, get out of get out of Kerbal influence tonight. But uh, I think it's got a long ways to go. Let's um, let's go to the tracking center again. And let's see when it when it hits this change. Oh, that's right. I can't put maneuver nodes. That sucks. I was gonna put a maneuver node on. Oh, ooh, ooh. I think this is getting out of range anyway. Look, it dropped the. Uh, Hmm. Yep. Let's try and name it before we lose it. Now it does count itself as a relay, which is cool. Let's see. What's the name of the sun in this in this uh system here? Yeah, screw it. Let's just call it the, uh... Hmm. I don't know what to call it. Uh, just name it, um... Adventurer. Adventurer 1. Something's totally generic. Now, the advantage to having a relay out in um, deep space on a um, inclination difference to carbon, but more or less on the same orbit, is um, if I have, say, a ship trying to get reception on the other side of the moon, or Mun, or Moon, whatever, however you say it, um, and trying to talk to Kerbin with the, with the uh, Mun in the way, is I can first bounce the radio signal off of this, and then over to Kerbin. I was really hoping I could get to do some fun science over here. Oh, some other time. Space Center. Let's just see. What I want to do... We're still on year one, day one. Warp to next morning. Does the next morning bring new... No. 
see, this is what's killing me. My goal for tonight really was to try to get a new pilot, and it's just not working for me. I've got a pair of scientists. Hmm. Do it again. Nope. Same lineup. Ah, oh, that sucks. How do I... Hmm. Poor Valentina. KIA. Killed in action. She actually has very good stats over there. Compared to the Jeb, she has more courage and less stupidity. Got any new contracts? Uh -huh. Oh, we did! <laughs> now we're talking. Alpha site, beta site, gamma site, delta site, pressure readings. That one seems like that's a, there's a lot to that. Hmm. Thanks. Thanks, phone. You get it. Thank you. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I want you to send us science data from space around Kerbin. Oh, well, <laughs> maybe my uh, probe isn't totally gone yet. Let's, uh, let's take that. Uh -huh. Go on an orbital spacewalk near Kerbin. This I'm totally taking. get to do the uh... I thought there was an exp Explorer of the Mun right on there. Maybe I'm confusing it with the Explorer Kerbin. Foof for President. I dig it. I dig that. President at least of the, uh, the space program. I'm, I'm not going to get too greedy. Alright, now... Let's go ahead, let's check on the probe again. I might be able to just go ahead and do this quick. In Kerbin Space Science or whatever. Take a crew report. Well, transmit a recover science data from space around Kerbin. I think this is going to be too far away to count for that. Like temperature. We just completed the contract, though. Hey, not bad. <laughs> this probe is useful after all. We just completed the contract with something we already launched. Wow, this is really far out there, but it is still counting high above Kerbin. And look how far Kerbin is away. That's incredible. It's got a long way to go. Or it's on its own independent orbit around the sun. Well, that's pretty cool. Alright, so once again, back to the space center. So we do need to do a spacewalk. Spacewalk is a thing we need to do. Um, let's see. You need that above deal. So, if I can do that, I could probably do this actually in orbit. I'm, I'm thinking that's what I can do. These are in flight below. Each of those is its own money and reputation. And then you get a, a decent chunk. I could probably 
do a flight on this one. The offer expires in a couple days. This one expires in 23 minutes. Liquid fuel engine. Doesn't get us a lot of money. Doesn't get us a lot of reputation or science. What's the requirement? From zero to 8,000 though. So I could just check, test this on the ground. I just need to get up to speed before 8,000 meters. So we already need to be up to speed at 8,000 meters. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to take this. I'm going to try and do this one real quick. Hopefully I don't fail it. So we're going to take a probe because this is going to be dangerous as all hell for what I have in mind. Maybe not actually. Okay. Ah, who am I kidding? We're gonna do something totally insane. Uh, let's do... Because we need to accelerate quickly, so we want to... We want this to just immediately get up to speed. going for full insanity mode in this one. Unitron. Um, is it even necessary? Probably not. Let's get rid of those. Okay. But what we need not like that. Let's make that. There we go. Let's try a pair of thuds. So we need to activate them. Between zero and 8,000 meters, and we have to already be going 530 meters a second. At least 400. So we're going to launch this at Woomerang, because this is going to be just all kinds of dangerous to the launch pad. Let's just see what we can do. any luck this just explodes once I'm done with my uh, my experiment so at least up to 400 meters a second yep we got our contract term there we go just move it out of the way of the runway I could have probably put parachutes on this and at least attempted to rescue this definitely one way to, uh, to do that. I can see the chat now. Wow, yeah, that was, uh, that was an interesting little... It's my app wipes off that little launch. Well, not bad. Not bad. Uh, let's just watch it blow up. At least we uh, we got some 
lateral speed, so we're going to explode away from the pad. Oh yeah, this is <laughs> just going absurdly fast. Why does that explode in space though? Well, no, this this little guy's just gonna explode on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes, yes, this is gonna be fun. This looks slightly phallic. I mean, like, maybe two. See that? Anyway. Just going straight for the woods. Well, it is slowing down a little bit. And this, folks, is how you make an intercontinental ballistic missile. There you go. Okay, and that still made us money. <laughs> oh, that makes me happy. Okay, back to the space center. Only Foof can prevent forest fires or start them with solid rocket boosters. All right. So, right, let's see what else we want to test out here. This is another one of those hard ones. They want us to be going very slow at a very high altitude. Those things just don't really go together. Readings on the surface at multiple sites. This one would be very hard. This would be crazy hard to pull this one off. I don't even know how I would attempt that yet. This is another one that's surface. Surface. This is a flight below, so this is in two days. This would be one I would try and do with a jet. It's got a lot of money. I just wonder where all those spots are. I might just have to check that. This is as well. Wow. That's a lot of money for completing these two. And that would be just done with a jet. Although, again, I want more pilots because I tired of risking Jeb's life in that jet. Ferry a VIP to her destination and back. Okay, let's read this briefing. This is interesting. While cleaning up after an unintended ignition, one of our overwork teams at Sean Cannery raised an interesting question. We want to know if there are Kerbals that will really pay for the extra seats that you surely already have on your aircraft. We believe that you are in a much better position to deal with this than us. So we want a chartered tour on the sites of Kerbin, keep the person alive. Well, that's the hard part, keeping the person alive. Uh, travel itinerary, then return safely to Kerbin, collect the fare. Any passengers that are rendered unconscious due to G-forces will fail to pay for their itineraries. So it's just a suborbital flight on Kerbin. But it says travel itinerary. Doesn't explain that very well. And it's all reputation. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is another flight blow. Okay, let's just check. Surely this should be on the tracking station, right? Oh my. My oh my, yes, there's a lot of... Okay, so this is the Rokia Inc. This is the Gleekot's mistake. Yes, okay. This one would be a nice easy one. This would be the Winter Owl. But I don't want to do another jet flight tonight. So we're going to skip that. Um, this is surface. That's kind of rough, man. And then landing down at the almost the poles. This is 
Some of these look kind of crazy. Hmm. That's just a lot of me debating this, and I apologize here. Yeah, okay. Let's just focus. So this would put me... I need to be in, like, a polar orbit for that. Unless I fire from the desert, in which case I could just fire up a little bit. I could try and do an inclination change after the fact. Screw it. I'm, I'm overthinking. I'm overthinking. We're just going to get to orbit. And we need to do a spacewalk. So this time, there's something a little crazy. We're going to take one of these um, octo cores. So we have SAS without a pilot. How heavy is that? 0.1 tons. Okay, that's not so bad. I think we can still manage that with one parachute, but I don't trust it that much. So I am going to put one drogue. capsule itself. Now, if a scientist does die, we can just easily replace the scientist. Costs us money, but, um, you know, not as precious as our pilots that we already lost. science bay that I can reset a bunch of times. I think. Well, I already got low space, so I don't know. Maybe I don't think I can get that much extra science out of that for orbit. So I might just skip that and save on the parts. Save on the weight as well. Give us some extra fuel instead. Yes, okay, now we're talking. a nice swivel engine, some winglets, that oh, might be overkill, these are cheaper. Should be fine, it'll be fine, fine, decouplers, Boosters. Yep. Okay. So we're going to launch those first, then we're going to separate, then we're going to kick on the swivel. Then we're going to ditch that and power the upper stage. Right that. Go for the drogue first, then the main chute. Forgetting the communitron. Let's do that. Let's just give it a little extra battery power.
nestle it right in there. All right. And we're gonna take our new scientist and put our new scientist out here. This is gonna be our first flight. And thankfully, we're gonna be controlling from here. Yes, this should do. I keep saying that, I'm, I'm worried now. <laughs> this should do fine. Kaboom. It's like wobbling even on the pad. All right, doesn't look too bad. A little bit of a gangster lean is fine. Kills those boosters. I was supposed to try it and do a different inclination here, but whatever. That was way too fast for gravity turn. That's fine, whatever. Yeah, we need to just go a little more. Adjusting the flight plan. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. So that should put me pretty close to that. If I can get to orbit with this thing. I thought this was getting quite high. have some fuel. This is good. I'm liking this right now. Can't do a maneuver node to pre-estimate. But it should be right about there. When I get close Full burn. This is awesome. So if this orbit completes exactly how it is, it'll put me right over this target. And I'll be able to do the, uh, the spacewalk. And also get the science for this. Two missions. One rocket. Okay, just waiting. We've still got a decent amount of fuel for this stage. So when that prograde marker hits the horizon, it'll be where we're right at the height of our flight. So I'm gonna just make sure I'm aiming early so I will be, give myself a little bit of time to try and complete this. Without the maneuver nodes enabled, I won't really be able to guess too well how long this burn's gonna take. It is what I mean. Okay, let's just start there. Okay, keeping that blast is just ahead of us. Just a little more down. Stage burn. We are catching up to Hatbox a little bit, which is disconcerting. So we're gonna have to raise this up a little bit. That'll push it in front of us faster. Good. Down. Now we're gonna let it just slide away from us a little bit. Down a little bit so he circularizes circularizes orbit. Okay, yeah, we're in space. We're in orbit. 
and we're good there. Okay. So now we got our scientist in space. Not much from the crew report, but we can now EVA. Yes, so EVA from just above the water. So this one, we get um, different biomes. And one thing I didn't consider is the spin of the planet below us. So this, <laughs> this uh, inclination actually won't necessarily put us over the target. That was something I probably should have anticipated. But that's just fine. Yeah, see, while the crew report is only, like, the in-space near, right? It's only really cares where you are. Hibernate the, uh, core as well. The drone core. Save our electric charge. <coughs> we need this battery to last us a few orbits, probably. About to go back over land, so I'm gonna just EVA again. Nope, that's from over the water. We already got that one. I already have that one. Transmit this actually? This is a hundred percent transmitting. Maybe I just gotta take it inside first. Oh, that'll use a lot of battery. Nope, we're not doing that. So we are already again, we got the one from over the water, so we want to get over land. Shores. Keep it. Get back on board. Go EVA. EVA report again. Grasslands. Keep it. Board. EVA again. This is wonderful. <laughs> Uh, can I go to other planets in the game? Yep, I can um, I can go to different planets, the moons to each. And um, yes, Andy's right. Um, I'll be able to start putting plant a flag on on Mun, kind of missions like that. Okay, this is still grasslands. This is a very good inclination, actually, for different biomes. I'm kind of happy about this right now. Highlands, keep the experiment board again. VA again. See if we can get the mountains. Mountains! Keep the experiment! <laughs> board again! This is wonderful! Okay. VA again! So many It's like NASA, but 10 years encapsulated in each stream. Pretty much. Uh, last stream was actually fairly accurate uh, to NASA. We had someone die in a trainer jet. Uh, we had multiple rockets just smash into the ground. Very NASA. It's actually kind of kind of a uh, Soviet program as well, actually. Um, it was actually famously how Yuri Gagarin died was uh, in, a, in a jet, in a trainer jet. Um, I believe it was two. I think it was two Gemini pilots, two Gemini, well, two Gemini pilots, two Gemini astronauts uh, that died in a 
trainer jet as well. So Valentina just gave her life for historical accuracy. Grasslands. I don't... Did I get lowlands or grasslands before? I think I got grasslands before. Yeah, screw it. Let's keep it. Go back in. Yep, we already have that one, so cancel. We already have water. Yeah, see the the planet's spinning and messing up our uh, our inclination for this. So at para apps, I'm gonna attempt an inclination change. Yes, Agalock is just hanging on for her life. She's a scientist. That's what she should be doing. Grasslands again. I don't, I'm not sure what this is gonna be over here. That looks like a different biome. It looks like I might hit the desert over there as well. I do have a, a lot of fuel in this thing, so I don't think the inclination change is going to be that bad. Let's try the EVA report again. Highlands, I already have. Yes, um, that's a good point. So, Andy's saying um, a polar orbit would be very good for this kind of thing. He's very right. Uh, a polar orbit is ideal for this actually uh, because you'd be covering every part of the planet at some point uh, because the planet is going to be spinning while you're coming around so as you do each orbit it'll spin below you that's actually um, any satellites that do like um, Google Earth where you've got pictures being taken across the planet that's actually how they launch those satellites. So they'll launch them in a polar orbit. So as the Earth spins below the satellite, it's able to get band by band by band, kind of like a like a TV scans across and uh, and loads by one line at a time. It's the same way. It's getting one orbit as it spins each time. It's very cool. Hoping I can get some more uh, biomes over here. Let's just get back in the craft for a second. do too bad at canceling that considering I didn't use SAS. Used a little bit of battery doing that maneuver. It's kind of a waste actually. But it was just to make me feel better. I wanted to check my battery anyway. Grasslands we already have. Thank 
keep checking as well to see where we're at on our orbit. Because again, as we get to pair of apps, I'm going to try and change our inclination once more. Did I? Perhaps just slightly change. Is this actually slowly decay your orbit? Huh? Maybe it's just the spin. That's slightly disconcerting. This might actually have um, decaying orbits somehow. I don't know how that's possible. It could be the spin of the craft. So there is a little bit of a spin on it. I already have mountains. I was hoping it'd be like a lakes region or something. Since we're going over that lake right there. I do eventually need to start putting satellites up, too. Uh, we'll have... For, for one thing, we'll unlock a scanner, and we will actually do, um, like, GPS-style satellites. Badlands, there we go. Back in. EVA again. Shores, we already got shores. We already got Badlands. And we won't be able to see much in just a moment. Look <laughs> at my Kerbal. Just so happy to be hanging on to that ladder for dear life. So happy. like a different biome. It's hard to tell in the dark what I'm going to be facing for a biome. Never tell. Alright, I might put her back in and just um, try and fast forward a bit. Even though I can't really see, I just don't want to keep spamming the EVA button. Time warping. Looks like I'm over the ocean. Yeah, it's really hard to tell. That might be the desert. So I'm gonna try and get that one. Looks like it's just a very small sliver of desert, so I gotta time that right. And 
we're also very close to our maneuver. So as soon as we're done this one, we'll start on our uh, inclination change maneuver. Oh, that's Shores. Shores again. Grasslands. Grasslands. That's that's no good. Change the shores again. Water again. Oh, that's not desert. That's just a tiny piece of land. Okay, well. Oh well. I want to burn down this way, that way. All right. So So that would put me right towards the planet. This would put me Yes. This is the way I'm going to want to burn. So we're going to lock on Turn back off SAS and save our battery. We're now up to. We now only spent nine battery, nine electric charge. Uh, let me see. Did I explain yesterday? Oh, did I explain while James was on yesterday how the science procedure and, and such works in career mode? I don't know. I explained it pretty early on, so I don't think so. Because um, basically, I do have to worry about funds. I do have to pay for every rocket, um, and we do get money back from missions. Um, but also, uh, part of that is we'll get missions based on how successful we are. So more reputation, uh, the more uh, prestige, the more uh, missions we'll get, offered to us at least. Um, and then uh, we get science. So as you unlock science, you can spend science to unlock new parts, new technologies. And then um, your crew also needs to level up. So this is now, um, Agalok is now a level one scientist. Um, and as they as they level up, they get better at what they do. Um, pilots get better at flying. Scientists start gathering a, a bonus to everything they collect science on. Um, that kind of thing. She's very cool. Now we're almost. Almost to the low point of our orbit. And that... That should be over the desert. This should be desert. Right there. That should be it. That should be desert. Unless I'm crazy. Well, I am crazy. Well, this is the desert launch site. So. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to burn downwards. Right. What that's going to do is it's going to it's going to tilt the overall orbit, like, and or from your screen, I guess. Yeah, from your screen, it'd be tilting it this way and putting me back on course to go over that area. I gotta time this just right. Just speaking of timing it right, let's just let's just see it. Can I get desert? No. Get back in. Keep SIS on. Pretty in depth, yeah. No, definitely. There's a lot to this in career mode. Um, I actually turned on a lot of things too. So one of the things we have to worry about. Oh, that's the opposite of what I wanted to do. One of the things I have to worry about is uh, comms. So I, I enabled uh, relying on comms. So if I have a probe but I can't reach it on comms, then uh, I'm hosed. And speaking of being hosed, we're very close to running out of fuel to deorbit this sucker. 
I wasted it all on that inclination change there. So... We'll see. I might get close enough to that target. Now it is still spinning this way. The challenging thing with this is it's going to be deorbiting. I'm going to need to make sure I do that burn at Apple Apps because if I do that anywhere else, I'm I'm stuck in space. I left myself like no fuel for that. I got a mono propellant, but no mono propellant engine. It's kind of a waste of weight there, what I was doing. So we're going to just try and get this desert biome. I'm going to be optimistic right now and hope we actually get back. That looks like desert right there. I don't know why this isn't... I was really hoping this was desert right here. Let's just do a little bit of a time warp. Whoop! Oh, no, no. SAS off. We're wasting. Wasting charge. This. This. Right here. Am I just too far, too far north to get uh, desert? Deserts, yes! Okay. I feel much happier now. So now, I want to get close enough to that. I just overdid the inclination change, I think. Yep. Yep, not quite. Missing our target. Target's right about there. Ah, that's a shame. Oh well. So right at app laps, so 131, 300. So that's going to be the height. We don't want to burn pro, uh, retrograde. Slow us down. Hey, how's KSP doing for you? Very good. Very good. I've been playing KSP for a long time. I just haven't done much in career mode. At least since they added funds to career mode. 131, 336. Three, so that's going to be almost the time to start the burn here. It's got to be very precise. Alright, that's all we get. That's all we get for a deorbit. It's not too bad. Hey, I'm Owen. I play mostly science myself. Yes, um, that was my experience so far. That's been the majority of it. I got frustrated, I think, the first time that I tried playing with um, with funds and everything activated. And then uh, they started adding more contracts, obviously. I, I've <laughs> Two days of playing this, I realized how much better the contracts are. Either that or I just remember the contracts being way harder than they, they are now. Alright, so we're gonna ride this out to 
our deorbit, and hopefully, I'm not too worried about where it's gonna land. I really don't care where it lands. I'm willing to spend the funds on it. Um, more worried about making sure we get everyone now back uh, safely here. Having this parachute on top of this core has me a little bit worried, not terribly worried, because this is a large ablator. It shouldn't allow the heat to, to reach that. Mmm. Yep, uh, that's definitely a good point. Hey, Owen is saying um, he's collecting as much science as possible for a good network system around Kerbin, Minmus, and Mun. Um, actually, I'm going to go back after this and um, go back to one of my probes I sent out. Uh, I just sent one probe on an escape uh, from Kerbin's influence in what it should be a um, inclination change uh, relative to the the solar orbit so that hopefully will give me some something to bounce communications on and off of between Amon, Minmus, and Kerbin. Um, hopefully the orbit is similar enough that it's not um, gonna fall out of range. But the inclination change should basically mean it'll be coming in and out of the sphere of influence of Kerbin so it will probably get captured eventually and be stuck in orbit or shot out in some random direction. Mm. Yep, I don't have any true relay dishes. You can use, um, just as far as I can tell anyway, you can just use um, communications um, tools, but it's like not good range at all. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to start entering the atmosphere, so I'm going to ditch the tanks once they just eat a little bit of the heat. I want this uh, engine just to give us a little bit of an aerodynamic pocket to ride in. So let's ditch it. No. Ah, I did that a little early. Oh wow, it's not going to kill us. Well, it might kill us. Mmm, you can use cons, but you can't use that to relay signals back to Kerman. I'm not sure, I haven't actually tried it. Okay, here goes. Let the ablator uh, wobble a little bit, I'm going to take SAS off. Let so the aerodynamics do their thing. This won't be as um, aerodynamically inclined to do what we want as it should because we added extra weight at the top. But um, you can see from this, it is still doing what we want, more or less. Staying more or less on uh, retrograde. And the ablator is pretty much eating all the, the re entry so far. The thing I'm going to do is just add a little bit of a spin. So the batteries and the communications are uh, falling in and out of that little protective pocket. So they're heating evenly. Just a gentle, a gentle spin on it. Don't want to introduce too much G-Force on Agalock here. Although we do have the probe, so even if she does black out, then uh, we will still be able to save her, hopefully. Yeah, we're bleeding a lot of speed. This is, I think, a very good approach. Mm, yeah, asparagus staging is a good way to go. I haven't unlocked um, the fuel pipes yet, so not able to do anything that away, but Minmus is pretty good to get to early on. In the old, uh, the old, oops. in the old series I did, um, science only, um, I actually went to Mun before Minmus, because I didn't realize that Minmus was going to be, uh, easier. 
We're looking good for a splashdown here. So the drogue is slowing us down most of the way. And the mains, now that we're below 10,000. Drogue is probably completely unnecessary, but... Just made me feel better having something in case this somehow failed on re-entry. At this point, I just need to watch. Oh, yeah. She, she, she dealt with a decent amount of uh, G forces there. I might cut this. Um, or just be lazy and. Yeah, just SAS. Keep us relatively on point here. There we go. Main chute's keeping us straight and slowing us down to a nice safe speed. Time warp, just turn off the time warp as soon as I get near the water. So that's a shame. I didn't get the uh, the marked location in orbit. I think I would have had that if I just uh, was paying attention a little more on the map screen while I was doing that burn. I still don't trust time warp during a landing. Alright, there we go. We've got one safe Kerbal Scientist. Not bad, 57.7 science from that one. Uh, we got Space above water, shores, grassland, highland, mountains, badlands, desert, and we got our recovery. Uh, Aglock is now up to a level one scientist. We got some reputation. We got some funds returned from the capsule. Looks good. Looks very good. All right, now. We just had a whole lot of fun with that mission. How are we doing on... Well, this guy is still... <laughs> not get out of the system yet. Ah. I'm just... I'm just amazed that there's not a new science I can take yet. After all this. But there's not. <laughs> So, all right, I already used this to complete several contracts. This crappy little thing's done more than its duty anyway. Oh, I don't know why I left SAS on. It's got to be draining battery. I think it's because I left it pointed at the sun. Yes, sip your sunlight. Go back to the Space Center. Wow, 
I might I might not see that leave the system on this live stream. It's one of the goals, but uh this might be how it how it is. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to right click. Well, I'm just a few science away, I think, from getting another unlock. Although I could do one of these lower unlocks. Flight control. It does add the launch stability enhancer, which I love, but uh, there's other things we can focus on right now. Landing adds some cool stuff. We could get more jet parts. Because we know how well that ends. Let me see. Um, oh, Ham hey, Owen plays this on PS4. Wow. Yeah, no, that would take me a while to get used to, too. <laughs> this is definitely, for me, a PC game. But that's all I've ever... That's how, the only way I've ever played it, so... Hard to tell sometimes. Uh, miniaturization. That could be useful. Engines, space exploration would be good. Miniatures. Oh, this is miniaturization. So what is this? Propulsion systems. Oh, I figured that'd be miniaturization. Hmm. It's been changed up a little bit, I think. Docking ports here. Well, I'm going to do one last check on the uh, KSC for anything interesting, and then I'm going to, I think, call this a stream. Yeah, still no pilots. I really need more pilots, although I am glad that I can now send up scientists. Makes you feel a little better. Yesterday, Jet Run took off eventually, no pun intended. Yes, but pun. Uh, I'm just proud that the the guess from a viewer was that it was going to be a, a tail strike at the end of the runway, and it was totally the opposite. It was a nosedive that killed Valentina. That's our our loss using Valentina that's all right the Russians lost uh, Yuri Gagarin in a in a trainer jet we lost a Gemini crew in a trainer jet you know it's just we're keeping tradition alive I'm tempted to try and hire a new uh, scientist maybe because eventually we are going to need several scientists um, because uh, when we get a space, ca space station contract we will need to send up multiple. Hmm. But right now none are really screaming at me. This is kind of tempting. This engineer stables. Hmm. pair of broken parts. That'll be later. That'll be a much later game for engineers. Scientists are really where we want to focus. Oh, here's another good engineer. Wow. Rabus. Damn. These are good. <laughs> I don't know what those stats actually mean, though. The courage and stupidity. Just... They should stand out as courage, good, stupidity, bad, but, you know, could be whatever. Now, let's see. This was really the goal of my stream tonight, I think, was when I was thinking it through today, is trying to get vehicle assembly building upgraded so I can use more than 30 parts. And uh, we've got a significant amount of funds. I think I'm comfortable doing that right now. Uh, mission control... Let's see, explore the Mun. That's good. Let me see, what's what's the objectives? While well, working like nine scientists, Kerbin, world fist record, keeping society have made a startling discovery. We want to know what shades of green you'll see if you expose Kerbal to high G forces. This is where you come in. Simply head to the Mun and pass by it. Flyby. It doesn't even say. Hmm. That'll be for next stream. So that's gonna be a flyby mission. Maybe we could do a, a free return trajectory. 
I'm really gonna want to get maneuver notes first though. Yeah. How much is the upgrade to tracking station? Yeah, that would break us. That would break us right now. We're not going to do that. But, not bad. Not bad. We've got a lot of stuff upgraded now at this point, at least a step. And uh, we did get somebody new into space. We did do a flight, two flights with Jeb and didn't kill him with the didn't kill Jeb jet. And, um, yeah, I think that's, that's it. Uh, I've got yesterday's stream already up on YouTube. Obviously, the link's on the screen there. Um, but if you want to check out that out, I will probably be adding uh, timestamps to help out with that so you guys can, can go and focus on where the launches are and not just watch all the pointless banter. Uh, but that's it. I think um, we're calling it a night. So thanks for tuning in, guys. And um, probably a follow-up tomorrow. Uh, 7 o'clock seems like the right time. Thanks again. <laughs>